the hat started. Hang on, I have a bug in my ear. Okay, okay. okay. I don't want to kill it. I believe in saving everything. I've been wearing this for almost six years. You know, the minute you walk out, you're totally judged. But you have to let yourself go and be yourself and not let anyone intimidate you. Just like this. Just like that, okay. Just like, oh my god, this looks so sexual. I just went out from here. This is, this is my box. <laughs> I'm extremely shy, by the way. <laughs> I'm I'm not a loner, but I'm shy. And I have people come by all the time, and they look through my window. I have a lot of peeping toms here, but they're fun though, most of them. And I have my candles. And no, I do not do santeria. It's all spiritual. <laughs> You know, I'm just using my imagination beyond my imagination. Beyond my third imagination. This toilet is my LGBTQRS. You can actually add more letters depending on your sexuality. I'm a gay soldier and I'm fucking pissed off. Anyway, I believe in equal rights, gay rights, Jewish, black, Hispanic, everyone. We need to do something. Uh, I'm an artist and this year I'm going to become extremely political with my art. I was inspired by the gay marriage uh, fight uh, for rights. And it's, it's really a fun piece, but it has a huge statement behind it. Um, and the mannequin represents he or she. Uh, it doesn't represent one or the other, it's one. Uh, and that's who you think this person is. It could be a man, it can be a woman. Um, the disco ball, we need a disco ball in the public bathroom. <laughs> Which makes sense. Uh, it releases a lot of tension. Okay, and over here I have my chandeliers and my disco balls. And they're fun to look at. And this practically started with, oh, I think it started with this baby right here. And the whole chandelier thing, uh, then I started finding more and hanging them up and putting motors on them. So now my house is literally spinning with chandeliers but these guys are a lot of fun to look at at night and they glow with my blue lights and my red lights and this has become like a little art piece for me and i love it every morning i wake up and i you know i see them spinning and it makes me happy and it's fun Probably, I was probably eight or nine years old when all this started. I was young and I was limited to what I could do. Uh, you know, I had to be home a certain time. But I had cousins that were graffiti artists. And they were really good. Oh my goodness. Sometimes one of my cousins would take me on the subway. Uh, we would go to the Bronx to visit family and the graffiti was just enormous inside and outside the trains, especially the number two train. <laughs> and all of that inspired me. And then I started painting on my aunt's walls. Um, you know, we could, I couldn't even afford a sketchbook. We, were, we came from an extremely poor family. So, but a pencil was good enough for me. I used to write on everything, anything and anything, just sketches, little sketches here and there, and that's how it all started, basically. When I paint, I like to be alone uh, with my cats. I do have kitties.
Art is incredibly important because you, you can express yourself and you know whatever your mind is thinking you can just put it out there on canvas and let other people uh, know how you feel. I know lots of artists and the majority of the artists I know they express themselves through their art not talking. It's, it's a natural high for me. It is the best thing in the world when you paint. You go into your own little world and you drift away. Uh, it's, it's just the coolest thing. Uh, I've been painting most of my life to relax my mind. It works. Through my art, I, I, I prefer lots of color. Because color just pops the eyes out. And, and you cannot help to even look at a piece of art without color. Without color, you see darkness. Um, I don't see darkness in my book. I believe in a lot of color, a lot of beauty. And um, we need a lot more of that. Uh, incredibly fun and um, I, I started pole dancing actually male version about five years ago in what used to be my bedroom and I do it at least four or five times a week and you can look through my window and take a peek and you can see me dance This is Donna Summers, uh, the studio of 54 days. This was a lot of fun to make. Celebrities, I love celebrities, but from a distance. Wouldn't want to meet any of them. <laughs> uh, love her music, wrote my, some of my favorite songs on the canvas. I'd rather work around them and use their ideas and, and, and their beauty. I went to her concert this year. It was California Dreams, it was a lot of fun. I'm a big fan. And just put it out. And you know, for future generations, so they can still exist, which is the reason I did this whole series. We have the Beastie Boys, they came out of Brooklyn. Because I grew up with this generation. Um, most of them are slowly disappearing. I really miss a lot of them. And then we have Barbara Streisand, which was, she was born and raised in Brooklyn. I just want to put them on paper and give them eternal life. I believe in looking up when I think something is wrong or I think something is going to go wrong. Um, and just pick up that brush and just keep painting. Paint, paint, paint. Uh, strong. It's, it's, it's the best feeling in the world to paint. Uh, you know, get away from your troubles. Uh, whatever, you know, you're feeling that day. Uh, if it's negative, pick up that brush makes a big difference and I've been doing it for years and it's a form of therapy also it's the best therapy in the world uh, either that or a cat <laughs> Keith how did you find me anyway? you know I found you I fucking walked up the street and looked in your window <laughs> Is 
Is it okay? Yeah, I just, just saw a cat fly. <laughs> I got that on tape, that's kind of funny. <laughs>